we have to talk, start talking about Donald Trump because, oh my God, what's going on? How will he address this tonight, you think? Uh, they all say he's going to apologize. You'll probably see that very early on. But then what kind of apology? In his video message that some say made him look like a hostage uh, the other night, he then quickly turned, pivoted, and started attacking Bill Clinton's past and his troubles with women, uh, the uh, w- the husband of Hillary Clinton. So there's an old movie uh, called Meet Me in St. Louis, and these two, Trump and Hillary, are going to meet, and it may be more than just a meeting, could get pretty fiery tonight. And this was supposed to be Donald Trump's big revenge, because most people agreed after the last debate that he actually lost. Uh, do you, do you, does he still have a chance to, to make this his night? I don't think anyone should count out Donald Trump. Uh, if any other candidate had said or done what he's done in any other campaign, as we all know, that person would be gone. People actually shouldn't be that shocked by this controversial bus video. People have been able to hear tapes of him on a radio program in America where he is talking about women and describing them. This really shouldn't be that much of a shock. I don't think it's going to knock him out. He says he's never going to quit. But if he should handle it or maybe go after Hillary regarding Bill Clinton and say that she's an enabler and these other women, and I I did wrong, but you did that, I don't think he can gain by that. Because I was just going to ask that. Uh, he said in that statement video that he was going to bring up Bill Clinton and what, what he did or was accused of doing to, to women. Is that a good idea? Is that a smart plan? If he can carry it out, maybe. But the people who back him want him to do it. They want like a red meat. They want her, him to tear into her about uh, maybe sexual issues involving Bill Clinton that the, the, his supporters always feel the Clintons got away with. Mm-hmm. But it, it's not going to look good. And also that you have 40 undecided voters who are going to be sitting there. It's a town meeting, but it isn't a raucous stadium crowd that Trump likes to talk to. He's not going to get cheered should he go uh, start insulting. I think there are going to be frowns on the faces of people in the audience. It may read well to Trump when he tweets it out, but it doesn't sound necessarily good in the heartland here in America in front of this audience. Right. And what about Hillary Clinton? Do you think she has prepared for for talking a lot about this tonight, or is she going to focus on, on, on politics, I think? Well, my CNN colleagues say that she was she's prepared over five days, mm-hmm. uh, that she was in the middle of preparations on Friday when the news of this video and audio of Trump on the bus broke, and they definitely readjusted, recalibrated. I think they'll try to play possum, as they say, or be on the defensive and have her look very presidential and maybe take Trump assault and maybe not go down that road. I think she can control herself more than him. He's going to have to be a different person tonight for 90 minutes. And he's going to try to use charm. He's going to throw in the apology, try to sound like Mike Pence did, the vice president, on his, in his debate. I don't know if he can is capable of that, though. But do you think, how much does this really matter to Donald Trump supporters? Is it going to affect the election? I think tonight could affect the election, but for Donald Trump supporters are all in. I mean, I've seen emails from people I know who are men who think, as Rudy Giuliani, Trump's uh, one of his top aides, the former mayor of New York, said it was just men talking, you know, this uh, banter. And you're not going to switch those minds of men. Uh, I think he probably should lose more women support, and he needs that. There's a gap between him and Hillary. But people in America, this election, you've been through this. The next day, something else happens, and people are going to look back and go, oh, what about that video? Was that a bus? Or this debate? By the time we get to Las Vegas, the third debate, people may not even remember anything from here. What is, what is it that uh, um, Europeans don't understand about Americans and politics? Well, in my travels in America, uh, especially for CNN, I often say that sometimes people in New York have more in common with people in Sweden or Belgium. I mean, the, the gap and the change when you go south, southwest, more guns, more religion, and people want a strong leader. Uh, they believe Trump and his back to American values, law and order, hearkening back maybe to Ronald Reagan or other people. But Trump is so New York. He is, you know, he's a showman. He's a carnival barker. And he, but he's hit a nerve with key points that some people in the country are upset about, fair or not, such as uh, immigration, such as uh, equality, such as bad jobs, 
bad trade agreement. So he can make ground in this debate if he sticks to that. But I think he's dying to bring up the uh, f- sex problems and legal issues of Bill Clinton. He said at the end of the last debate, you know, I really wanted to go there, but because Chelsea Clinton was in the audience, I felt a deference. But then he, ch- he talks about it in his Saturday night video message about Bill Clinton's transgressions. He tweeted today uh, photos and stories about other women in Bill Clinton's past. Is he going to be able to resist that Sunday night here in St. Louis? I don't know.